My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Big block convertible time. We got a 1968 Pontiac Le Mans. It's restored as a GTO right down to the drive line. This guy did everything to this car. It runs and drives like a new car. It stops, handles, steers, accelerates, does everything just great. He's owned it for six or seven years and he told me he just poured a ton of money into the car. Uh, so it's a great driver. If that's what you're looking for, turnkey, get in and have some fun with the top down. That's this car. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures top to bottom. And that's where you find price tags on over 200 collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon, that way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. <clears throat> yeah, it's a local gentleman that we acquired this car from. He used local shops that I'm familiar with. And uh, yeah, he just, just kept throwing money at it, making it better and better and better. Uh, he literally just bragged to me on the phone. I was asking him some more questions. Uh, and how fantastic it drives. It's as good as his BMW. Uh, but underneath all the suspension and steering, the shocks, the bushings, the springs, the ball joints, the steering components, all that's been replaced, uh, rebuilt. The brake system's completely rebuilt. Has a disc conversion in front, so that's all new. The hoses, the brake lines are new. The wheel bearings are new. The fuel system was replaced. That would be the the tank, the sending unit, the straps, the fuel lines. Um, getting back to the brakes, the emergency brake system is hooked up. Uh, has a dual exhaust, nice sounding Flowmaster exhaust. You'll hear it towards the end of this video. The floors were replaced. The body and paint were done at a professional shop. So the floors are all new. They're painted gloss black. Uh, the frame was treated with Pour 15. That's a rust preventative. So underneath the car is real nice looking. Uh, the motor is completely rebuilt. So you look up at the motor, it's still spotless. Uh, the starter was replaced, has a new flywheel cover. The transmission is a turbo 350 automatic, completely rebuilt, has a little bit higher stall converter. The rear end has new 330 Posi gears in it. So motor, trans, and rear end have all been redone. Brake suspension all been redone. Uh, the body and the appearance of the car, it's really nice. It's not a concourse trailer queen car. A couple minor imperfections, I'll point them out to you. Uh, but again, this is a car you get in and drive, and it looks good as far as anyone's concerned. You're going to get thumbs up. Uh, the wheels are 15-inch Rally 2 wheels. They've been powder-coated. Uh, they have all new lug nuts, center caps. The tires are new, Cooper tires are a little bit bigger in the back than they are in the front. Uh, it's all metal, there's no rust. It was professionally done at a shop 15 minutes from here. Convertibles do get a stress crack right here from twisting. Uh, so there's a little hairline crack on each side. The trunk fits nice and square, smooth and flush, no bubbles, no blisters. Uh, it's Verduro green, very popular color on a 68 GTO. Uh, this quarter panel is all real nice. Is the GTO stickers. It's all smooth. A little scratch right here. He must have bumped the garage. It's touched up with a brush. Door fits real nicely. All fits nice, all smooth. New emblem, GTO emblem. New windshield. There's a little pitting on the vent window uh, frame right here. New mirrors, new door handles, uh, new weather strips. You might notice in the pictures, the weather strip on the pillar is not there. That was on back order, so that'll get installed. Has the GTO scooped hood, this all in nice shape. When I say it's not perfect, there's a little dust you know, here and there in the paint. Uh, so it's nice driver quality. 
The grills are in real nice shape. The front rubber bumper is real nice. I feel something. I don't see it. Yeah, there's a little nick. They must have just touched something on the bumper. On this side, same thing. Nice, straight, clean. Uh, good looking car. Nice reflection. Has a nice stance. Convertible top is all new. It's a black convertible top. Uh, it's power. The pump, the rams, all that was replaced. It even has a new glass back window. The weather strips are replaced on the convertible top as well. So why don't we uh, open the hood, the trunk, and uh, take you inside the car. I should mention also the rear bumper has been re-chromed. Tail lights are in real nice shape. Completely solid, clean metal trunk compartment. It's been neatly spatter painted. Uh, there's also a new well liner right there. Weather strip was replaced. And under the trunk lid and the jam is painted a uh, nice glossy finish. Hey, the owner just told me that it's a legendary interior. That's the premium interior package. Uh, it was professionally done by another local shop. Uh, so the seats are reupholstered. I believe they have new cushion. It sure feels that way. They're nice and firm, no wrinkles. So front and back seats are replaced. The side panels, the rear armrest covers, all that's been redone. The interior lights working back here. The uh, center console has been reupholstered, does have its original seat belts, does have new carpet down on the floor with Pontiac floor mats. Now the dash pad, when you're sitting in the car you're not going to see it, but up on top there is a crack in the dash pad here. I noticed this interior lights working as well. It has a nice set of aftermarket gauges right here so you can watch your engine's vitals and it has a matching tachometer on the column. And this is also a nice upgraded uh, cushion grip steering wheel as well. Uh, the heater does work, so heat controls uh, are functional. The mirror uh, looks like it's new, as well as the visors. The door panel's also been replaced. Taking a, a peek at the door jams. The door jams are painted real slick. The weather strips are replaced. Sill plates are new. And here we've got a 400 motor and it's built to run. It is completely rebuilt board 30 over in balance. It has the Ram Air 3 cam, Ram Air 3 heads, and Ram Air 3 exhaust manifolds. It also has a correct numbered carburetor for a GTO. That's been rebuilt. Uh, everything in the motor is new. All the you know, pistons, rings, bearings, it's all new. You can see it has a new factory choke setup. Plug wires are run neatly has an HEI ignition system, upgraded one wire high output alternator so there's no regulator anymore. It also has an upgraded four core Harrison radiator. I see an aluminum water pump, a heater core was replaced. It has new power steering and hoses, new power brake system with the master cylinder new wiper motor, a new battery, spring clamp cables, and I'm also noticing the engine compartment is really sharp looking. It, all the metal surfaces are painted up real nice, the motor is painted nice, the chrome is new, so it's a really good looking engine compartment.
So there you have it. Somebody else has done all the work for you. Uh, he's complained about how much money and time. He's had this car six, seven years, and he's already off doing the next one. So some guys really enjoy it. Uh, now it's your turn to take advantage of someone else's hard work. You've got a great looking convertible. It's turnkey, ready to drive right here. So that's my impression of this convertible. Feel free to go to volocars.com. We have salesmen you can contact. If you have questions or concerns, feel free to ask them. They'll help you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to any driveway in the world. They can help you get financing. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to click on that bell icon because that's going to notify you as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.